I'm about to attack something in the spirit tonight that's attacking your believing he will answer. And the Holy Ghost told me this today in prayer. Amen. And I, I, I'm going to show you what it is. Um, but let me read Micah 7 verses 8. Rejoice. Is this battery going dead? Because every time I rock back and forth, it just, it must be a dead spot right here. It might be, I don't know. It could be. I'm out running it. Praise God. I've been known to go longer than the Energizer Bunner. Bunny, burner, bunny, whatever. I can't even talk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That does sound a little fuller. Anyhow. Micah 7, verse 8. Listen to what Micah the prophet said. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. In other words, you can fight against me, but don't throw a party against me. Listen, he said, when I fall, not if, but when. When I blow up big time, when I completely miss the mark, when I completely come short of his glory. That's what sin is in its fullest definition. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3, 23. Don't throw a party, devil. Come on. Tell Metallica and ACDC, amen, and Budweiser all to go home. Tell Jack Daniels, get back to his crib. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Just all your party and this, this, you might as well forget throwing down when I fall down. Don't rejoice. You may come against me, hallelujah, but don't rejoice against me, my enemy. Come on, somebody. Because listen, when I fall, here it is. I shall arise. I may be down, but not for a count. Look at your neighbor and say, I feel a comeback. He said, I shall rise. Listen to what he said. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. So devil, don't throw your party now. You think I'm over with. You think I'm through with. Uh, somehow you think God has completely quit on me. Uh, I messed up, but I ain't missing out. Uh, I did fall. I did fail. Come on, somebody. But I hear God saying I shall arise again. Uh, so devil, don't rejoice against me, though you've come against me. I shall get up from here. Uh, I've been sitting in darkness, uh, but I can see him coming to my rescue. Uh, he is the light of the world. Uh, John Eight and twelve. Somebody shout, get up. He left the light on for you. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout the comeback. That's what I'll title this message tonight. The comeback. L listen in Hosea 14 and verses, uh, I believe it's seven. Hosea the prophet says uh, in the word of the Lord, he said, if you dwell under his shadow, that means stay in his presence, stay around him, uh, amen, you will revive as the corn, come on somebody, and grow as the vine. Wow. He said, they that dwell under his shadow, amen, shall come again. Amen. And they'll revive as the corn and they'll grow as the vine. You ever cut that old corn stalk down, watch the farmers cut it down? Come on, somebody. If they didn't get the roots and sometimes even if they got the roots, if it just spread out seed enough, come on a few weeks later, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine, here it is sprouting up all over again. You ever cut them vines thinking, boy, I got rid of them. No, you didn't. If you didn't uproot them, if you didn't get every little part of them. They'll be back. Come on. Come on. Somebody shout, the devil may have cut me down, but I'll be back. I may have fell down, but I ain't going to fall away. Somebody shout, if you fall down, don't fall away. The fall down is not a falling away. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, God says, don't let any man deceive you for that day or the coming of the Lord shall not come except they first be a falling away. There's people that are falling away from the faith. They're defecting from the faith, but they're still doing church. They're still doing everything, amen, that they've always did as far as religious activities. Come on, hallelujah, amen. But this, what I'm talking about tonight is not a falling away. Some of us, glory to God, we have went away, but we don't have to stay away. I told a man on the phone today who just told me, he called me this morning and I got back with him, hallelujah, and he gave his life totally, a uh, backslidden preacher, back to the Lord. And I told him these words, and he didn't even know I've been studying this morning. 
But I told him, I said, look, you strayed away, but you didn't stay away. He said, I found myself and stuff would come up. The word would come up in me burning. And me apart from God, not living right. And I'd have to tell people, thus saith the word of God. I'd have to quote scripture. I said, you know why? Because the very last scripture of the longest chapter in the Bible, Psalms 119, 176, David said, I went away like a lost sheep. But you have sought your servant, and I have not forgot your commandments. In other words, with God's word, amen, God said, I pursue you like a lost sheep. I won't let you alone. I won't let you go. I'll be after you. I call it a holy haunting. I know it's not October yet, but everybody in October wants to tell ghost stories. I like to tell Holy Ghost stories. I call it a holy haunting. Come on, you trying to go the opposite direction of what he called you to go. You wanting to have fun and everybody else doing their sins, enjoying it, but you're hating it. You're as miserable as they get. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, but you're trying to make the best of it. Amen, and you know what he told me? He said, Brother Marvin, he said, I went as far as I can go. Hallelujah, he said, I did it my way too long and I realize it won't do, but God's way. God's way is the only way that's gonna work. Hallelujah, he said, I just quit. I quit going my way and I said, God, here am I. I turn back to you. Hallelujah, I said he was after. 